let's say you have a SharePoint list or a Dataverse table with some records in it, and one of the fields happens to be a date field. And now you bring all that data inside Power Apps, and in whatever you use, whether it's a data table or a gallery, you want to apply a filter that only shows you the records that you are meeting some certain date criteria. Not just a specific date, if you are looking into a date range. From this date to this date, whatever that is there, bring it on. Now, without wasting time, let's get into it. For this video, I've created a list inside SharePoint called Date Filter Demo. Inside it, there is the simplest list you can ever imagine. It has just a title and a date field that I called it literally date field. And at the top of it, I just created an app with two data tables that are both connected to the very same list inside SharePoint. I called one of them complete list and the other one is going to be the filtered list. The objective of this video is to add a date filter on the top of it so we can pick a date or date range and eventually it shows only the records that satisfy this filter criteria. Now let's go to Power Apps and do it. This is the app that I created. You see it has only one screen and it has two data tables and one is the copy of the other. They are both connected to the same SharePoint list. It's called Date Filter Demo. And the only thing that I changed in this, I picked the date field and I put the formatting as like year, month, and day. Exactly the same thing for this one, just for better readability. On the top of this guy, I want to insert a date picker. And I just put it right here. I also want to change the formatting so it matches the formatting of the other ones, although it doesn't really matter. But regardless, let's do it. I pick my date picker and under advanced, I go to the date format. And instead of short date, I say the date is going to be year month and day. Just like that, we have exactly the same format. Keep that in mind, this is the format that it displays. The data type is date backstage, and regardless of what you put here, it's not going to change anything. So then I go back here to this list. Let me pick the data table. And the items that it's going to show, it's going to be just like this. I say filter. And I'm filtering this list inside SharePoint for the records that this record dot date field is equal to my date picker dot selected date. Great. Just like that, we are done. I can run it and test it. So let's pick a date, for example, item five. January 24th, 2023. So I go to 2023, January 24th. And it's going to show you the record. Uh, and it doesn't. So this is the record we are targeting. This is the exact value that we selected. So the record exists, but this guy does not show anything. And I am pretty sure this is the reason you're watching this video right now. Now, let's go back to our slide deck. Let's push this app apart and have a closer look at this list. Do you notice anything unusual here? Yes, you guessed it right. The date field actually contains the time. So we have the date field, the data type is date type, and I've also selected the include time. So the date field has date and time included. So comparing to an exact value may not make perfect sense. Let me explain it. But before that, our objective of this video is to write a filter formula that works regardless of include time selection. All right. Now let's understand what we are going to do. We want to filter for all the records dated January 17, 2023. All right. Let's define January 17, 2023. A day has 24 hours starting from 12 a.m. and ends right before 12 a.m. the next day. So any date within this range is called January 17, 2023. And as soon as we hit 12 a.m. the next day, 
our Ferrari turns into a pumpkin. So now you have a better idea of how we want to write this formula. We are looking for all the records that that specific date is greater than or equal to January 17, 2023. So everything here, starting from 12 a.m. and anything greater than that. But at the same time, it has to be less than next day or less than January 18, 2023. And with this, you have all the ammo to fight the battle. Let's go back here and write the formula. I get out of the app. I pick the table again. The filter is not going to be just equal. Let me just expand it a little bit and format it so it looks a little bit better. So the first condition is going to be this record date field is greater than or equal to the date that has been selected. So now if I just run it, you will see that 24 is included and anything else that the date is greater than that, right? Now, I need to cut that extra records. So I add the second condition and I copy and paste the same thing here. And the date field must be smaller than the next day. Just like that, format text again. Everything looks good. Let me run it. And now 24th. Let's go for January 17th. So January 17th. Okay, I picked one record. And just like this, you can pick any record that you want for January 13th. I think it's needless to say, if you want to have another date picker to give you a date range, that's going to be just like this. So I come back here. So this is my start. And I can copy and paste this guy here. So I have two. So I'm looking for anything from this date to this date. From this date, easy, right? So let's come back here. This is the first condition that defines the from date. Let me just get rid of this one too. Yeah. Save. Let's run it. So at the moment, I can pick any date here and it shows me any value that is bigger than or equal to this. Now I want to change the filter so that anything includes this one or less than this. The name of this control, I just copied it. The name is going to be this guy, date picker 3 hyphen 1. I just copy this. I come back to my table. I don't need to see this guy anymore. And the second filter is going to be this record dot date field is smaller than the value that the second date picker has selected plus one. That's an important one because if you say less than or equal to this, it's not going to do the job. Remember, you want to include the last date. And if you just put the date there, you are referring to the very beginning of it. Anything that is past even a second after this beginning is not going to be included. So now we have everything that we need. So let's see how it works. I can say anything between January 16th and January 24th. And just like that, it gives you everything that you need. Let's change this one, for example, to 18. And there we go. 18, 19, 20, and everything else is included. Always test the boundaries. So if there is 19, so let's pick 19 and see if it really includes 19. Great. We have 24 and 24 record is also included. And just like this, we could filter the records for a range of date. All right. That was a short and easy video. Thank you for watching and I'll see you in the next one.